So Go High Level just released this brand new feature called Agent Studio, and it's exactly like N8N if you're familiar with the software. It can't quite do everything N8N can do yet, but in this video, I wanna give you guys a first look at this new feature. I'm gonna show you guys some different use cases and examples, and then I'm gonna show you guys the potential of this feature because I genuinely believe this will be one of the most valuable parts of the Go High Level software for any business, and I'm gonna show you guys why. So I'm gonna give you this quick example here, and this example is showing you guys how our AI agent can now retrieve information from the internet, okay? Keep in mind, this works for any business. You're just gonna have to think about different use cases for your business or your client's business. But I'm in the real estate space, so I'm gonna show you guys a simple example of how I can use this feature to add more value to my clients and also add more value to the customer or the lead and help them get what they want even faster, okay? so. I work with real estate investors, and so what they are looking for is discounted properties. Okay, They want to find people that are willing to sell their home for less than what it's worth. Okay, Not quite $3 million homes, but you get the point. So I'm going to show you guys just how if I copy this address and I send this AI agent a message, what is the value of my property, and then I put in this address, it will go to the internet, it will search Zillow, it'll search realtor.com, Redfin, and basically pull the values from those different websites, okay? So you may be saying, well, wh why does that matter? Like you're just going into high level, clicking on chat to agent, and then getting this number. You could have just done that on your own, yes. 100% agree. So what's missing from the feature currently as I understand it and what will make it insanely valuable, which I'm sure they're gonna be doing very soon, is connecting this to a form being submitted as an example. So let's just say to keep it very simple, what's valuable to my client would be to get this number, right? When we generate a lead for them and then Instead of them going on the internet, looking it up, and then kind of figuring out how much it's worth and then how much they want for it and all that stuff, we could automatically retrieve that information from these three websites here, or I already lost it, but we could retrieve that information from Zillow, Realtor.com, Redfin, etc. right? And then we could include that inside of the lead uh, custom field inside of high level. So that's kind of just step one. Now step two is we could add the AI agent to perform math. So we could say, hey, the Zillow says it's worth this, Redfin says it's worth this, Realtor.com says it's worth this. We're gonna take an average of all three of those, right? And then you're gonna see what that value is so you know, okay, this is generally what it's potentially worth. And then we could also have the AI agent perform math and say your target price should be, and then we could take 50% or 60% of what this number is. And we can also calculate the rehab costs based on the square footage and the different, I'm kind of going niche into my niche, you know, real estate so that it may not make as much sense to you. But the point is, once we can use the internet to retrieve this value, we can create all sorts of concurrent actions after the fact that make it way easier for our client to understand the scope of the lead. And on top of that, we could then utilize that in communicating it to the lead, right, the homeowner. So that's one example of using the internet. Now what's missing here is the ability to start this workflow when somebody fills out a form or when somebody sends us a message because right now it's just working inside of here which there's really no added value to that okay so they're going to add this in shortly here soon i did see in the um let me save this and i'm going to show you guys some other use cases too i did see some workflows here if we click on this where inside of the actions it said this right here 
so these AI actions, so it may just be they haven't fully activated the feature, but basically the, the ideal use case is someone fills out a form. We, you know, basically, uh, get their property information, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, all that stuff. We now don't have to ask on our form and we can just collect it automatically because the AI is going to go use the internet and put it into their contact record. And the ideal use case is that this triggers, right? That workflow I just showed you would trigger when someone sends us a message or when somebody, um, you know, fills out a form, right? So that's what's currently missing is triggering it based off of actions inside of the workflow or else it's not really that that useful, okay? So think about this use case as well. So that's just retrieving information for a property if someone fills out a form, right? What if somebody calls your voice AI, right, and has not has a question or something like that and your AI, right, doesn't have it in the knowledge base and it's not in the prompt. Well, guess what? We can have it search the internet, retrieve that information, and if it needs to, perform some sort of math, right? Like an example, maybe they give their address. Here's a great example, it just came to me right now. So let's say that somebody calls your business and you have a certain service area or maybe you charge uh, per mile based on how far you have to drive like I have a listing photography business and so my cousin charges the further out he has to drive and so you need the internet to do that right so guess what you could be on voice AI someone calls tells you their address the AI agent all on the phone okay let me check what the address is and where our location is boom it gives you the exact mileage then it knows the pricing per mile and then it gives them an updated quote right there. And that's any channel of communication that high level supports, right? Voice AI, conversation AI, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, live chat. You could imagine any those circumstances uh, or that circumstance happening across any of those channels. So maybe someone calls and that happens or maybe somebody messages and that happens. Once it can access the internet, you can retrieve all that information, update quotes, all that stuff automatically, and then you can take it even further. They say yes, you send a custom quote in high level, follow up with them, make sure they, they pay it. All that stuff is gonna be possible right here, okay? So that's the web search tool. Now I'll show you guys a few other things it can do just cause it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of crazy that they added this. So they did add video generation. So I'm just gonna say a man skydiving saying, I can't believe go high level added AI agents. And then I'll choose VO3. I'm very familiar with this stuff. So if I'm speeding through it, that's why. Basically, this is just a video, AI video generation model. And it's it's a really good one, actually. VO3 is the best one I've seen. I just got access to Sora 2. Um, and that one's probably slightly better. But this one can generate videos um, in you know 16.9 format, which is like the format you're watching this in on YouTube. So I can generate videos here. So what would be a use case for this? So you could basically, I, I probably wouldn't do this, but I know people would. So you could do a workflow, right? This is missing right now. They, they don't have the workflows and stuff all hooked up. So you can't quite use this the way I see it in the real world with real customers, but when they add it, you could do what I'm about to say. So let's just say you have a workflow where it runs on somebody's birthday, okay? And every birthday, you go to this AI model, generate a custom video that says, hey, John, it's skydiving or it's you know at the beach or whatever it is. Hey, John, happy birthday you know, here's your coupon or whatever, right? And just make it fun and entertaining. And that could be sent on text and email on autopilot. You can see here's the video. So they've got the initial, so you can hear it. Well, 
you probably can't hear it, but he basically uh, just said exactly what I wrote, right? So the video itself is not that useful until we can put it in the CRM. So you could do that with images. You could do that with audio as well. So the same thing, you know, drop a voice message to this customer saying happy birthday or drop a voice message to this customer following up with them. You get the idea. Drop an image. So instead of doing a manual text follow-up, um, you know, that people do, you can just generate images every time you follow up with someone. So it's like way different. So those are some core use cases here. I really think the internet one is going to be the most valuable because it's going to be the internet and then like the API calls and stuff like that, which you could already do, but this is going to make your system way more intelligent and allow you to access information in real time across any of those channels. So that's first look at this uh, feature here. I'm excited about it. There's a bunch of other stuff they just released that I had some insider information on. So I'll be covering that for you guys as well. But that's this feature. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.